what is going on guys it's Trinity K here back again with another video and today as you can see by the title I'm going to be doing a freedom network review and if you guys would like to join freedom I mean you can go ahead this is just from personal like not personal preference but just from experience these are things that I gather from while I was with my time with freedom um, I'm actually um, leaving them right now because I want to I want to venture out into different networks. I actually I actually got into freedom when I was relatively small. Like I don't, probably only had like 50 some of the subscribers and I had just posted like I think my second or third video and freedom sent me a message and I was new to YouTube. I didn't know about all these like networks. I, I hadn't like looked into it before. I was just posting videos and someone sent me a message to partner with them and me being like just ignorant and, un and like just uneducated on the YouTube network I went ahead and joined with them and I didn't like do I did research on freedom just to see what they were about and just the regular things but I didn't like look really deep into it so I'm gonna start off with some like cons which are like bad things and I'm gonna just end off with some pros of the network oh one more thing before we start I'm sorry I've been going on for almost a minute now uh, I have GTA gameplay in the background. I said I want to champ the gameplay, but I actually um I'm only using this GTA gameplay right now because I don't have any Call of Duty gameplay. Remember I told y'all I'm packing up my Xbox is packed up, my got my Elgato is packed up, everything is packed up in a box, and I'm uh it's it's basically just there sitting there, and I don't have it connected anymore, so I can't record new gameplay. So just bear with me. I'll have some Call of Duty gameplay for you guys that want it tomorrow. So. Let's get right into it. I'm sorry I went on for almost two minutes. So the cons, right? Lack of support. So support with freedom was like it wasn't bad, but I would say like you your your questions weren't answered in, in the support most of the time. Like it wasn't like you when you you basically what you did, you open up a ticket, you send them the your question, whatever you need help with, it wasn't always answered. Like they would either redirect you or just never like the question wouldn't be answered, right? Another thing is they don't give you what's promised when you're a partner and so what freedom promises is they'll help you grow you're a small channel they'll help you get out there they'll give get your name out there help you build your channel up but all they do is give you videos that you can you can access even if you weren't a, a partner of freedom you can go out to George's uh, channel which is I, I think he's like the owner or the, like something he has something to do with like freedom and they're like I don't know but they he has like a whole bunch of videos that you get in the training tab on your dashboard and it's on his it's on youtube like it's out there for anyone to get so i think that was like kind of messed up because i remember like one time I'm, i actually went to support and i'm like so you guys like promise to help me grow and everything and like she actually like the, it was a girl i remember like the name and she directed me she was like you can go to the training tab i'm like well, I, I mean, I didn't reply, but I'm thinking to myself, like, if I want, if, if I could have just did that, I didn't even have to partner with you guys. I could have just went to George's channel and looked at the videos from there. I didn't have to partner with you guys. And, uh, on to the next thing, right? The Freedom Network is way too big. And it's big just for the fact that there are little to no requirements to actually even join in the Freedom Network. And... That's a problem, especially when it comes to support. It's like you have over, I think, right as this video is being made, I think it's we're up, like upwards of like 90 to 100,000 channels. I think so I, I don't know, I might be wrong. I might be wrong. You'll probably see something on the screen where the correct number, but yeah, it's a really big network. And so, say if, if they get about like 30 or 40,000 tickets a day. They can't possibly get to all of those uh, like within that one day. So, um, like I remember one time they said I, I put in a ticket said they'll get back with you within 24 hours. They actually like didn't get back to me with for like a week. Like I had to wait a week just to get a simple question answered. And by the time they got back to me, I already got an answer from like somebody on YouTube. Like somebody I asked somebody on YouTube and they answered the question for me. Um, now they said that they're getting rid of sub networks is definitely going to get even bigger because all of the people in freedom sub networks they're going to the actual network like not the sub network like sg stg media um i don't actually i don't know any of the other ones other than that one but they're going to go right to the direct like freedom uh partner and it's just going to get even worse with that support thing hopefully it can be, like bring up a system with it that'll help them out 
Um, I'm, I'm go through this one quickly because I'm going on for five minutes here. I don't want the video to be too long. So the pros, people in the community, they're great. They're friendly. You can interact with everyone. Like on the forum, there's a chat. Like you can talk to people. I've talked to people on the chat. Like the people will actually like watch your, look at your post on the forum. Um, the dashboard is very easy to use. It's very, very user friendly. Um, and the last thing is, uh, this could be a good and a bad thing. Is it is very easy to get into freedom. And for smaller channels, it can be a great thing. For bigger channels it can be it can also be a great thing because when you have a lot of views coming into your channel per month you can really get a good revenue share with freedom and that's probably that's that's a that's probably a, a bonus that's not like a bad thing so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm sorry it's, it, it's so long i went on six minutes here like i said the call of duty gameplay should be coming to tomorrow if not tomorrow it will come tuesday but i hope you guys enjoyed the video Please click that thumbs up button if you if you like the review on freedom. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one.